My book details form is in form view and it's a very simplistic form you can see here I have my book number field my title my book price and the quantity sold now if I want to be able to change the layout of my form here and include some formatting I can do it in one of two views as you recall in the access level one we talked about the layout view and the design view and as a refresher the difference between the two is the layout view allows you to make design changes to a database element in a more general format it's not as detailed as the design view and again everything you can do in the layout view you can do in the design view but it includes additional options which we'll go over in the next couple of training videos that allows us to add drop down list and combo boxes and so on so to keep it simple I'm gonna go ahead and right click and go to my layout view and in the layout view we have three different types of layouts the first layout is the one you're familiar with and it's the anything goes layout it means you can click and drag your labels and your text boxes around anywhere you want on the form the other two layouts are access controlled layouts and they can be accessed from the arrange tab here in your layout view also they have the arrange tab in the design view but except it has more options over to the right come over here to the control layout group and then it's going to be tabular or stacked now in order to apply the tabular layout I need to select all the labels and their text boxes that I'd like to be included in that layout and what that layout does as you can see when I hover over it you can read that but it takes the text boxes and it puts them down here and it puts the labels up at the top and it does that from left to right which I'll show you in just a second the other layout is the stack layout and it looks pretty much like this it takes the labels and puts them over to the left hand side and to the right the corresponding text boxes in addition to aligning these up again from either labels top to bottom the text boxes or from left to right in stacked format it actually groups them so for example let's say I want to go ahead and apply all these labels and text boxes as a stacked format go ahead and shift click all the labels and text boxes here so I have all of them selected and then just come up here and click on stacked boom immediately it stacks it so the labels are on the left hand side and their corresponding text boxes are on the right and you see the little crosshairs here and you see the little dots that go around all these boxes here well it grouped them together basically so all I have to do is click on the crosshairs and I can move the whole group over at once or as one now why would you want to do that well if you gotta hurry and pump out a form real quick this is one way you can do it especially if the form was messed up as you recalled the book number label was up here and its corresponding text box was down below here maybe a labels over here its text box is over there all I have to do is quickly shift click them all and then click on stacked and boom it puts them all together just like that so if I go back to my form view pretty much looks the same as when I first introduced you to my form so back to the layout view again right clicking to the layout view back to my range tab now if I go ahead and choose tabular let me scroll over to the left here see what it did it actually put the labels up at the top and then down below it put the corresponding text boxes which I don't like in form view because the first reason is is at least in my form I can only view one record at a time if I had additional records down below that would be fine but I don't have it set up that way so the tabular format isn't going to work for me you can also see that it's grouped as well so I can just click on drag on the crosshairs and move them over to the left a little bit and the last thing you want to be doing in any form is to have to scroll so I like the stack format better now if you haven't noticed look at the labels down below it's up at the top or above this little line here and what that tells me is that this is in the header view and down below this is in the detail view or detail section of the design how do I know well right click and go to the design view and there they are form header and then the details down below so let me go back to my layout view here and I don't like it so I'm gonna go back to my range tab and and change it back to stacked but before I do that make sure that you select all the labels and the corresponding text boxes because if I go ahead and click stack now it's only gonna apply to these two right here watch what happens oh, that doesn't look good go ahead and hit undo and then click on the crosshair so it selects everybody or all the labels and text boxes and then click on stacked and that's much better now if I right click and go back to the design view still has the form header in there and if I want to get rid of that because I like to keep things clean here I mean you can go back to your range tab come over here to the show hide group and just click on the form header footer that's already highlighted click on it and it gets rid of it and then I can go back to my layout view let me go ahead and click on the crosshairs then drag it down just a bit now again the purpose for this controlled layout is to put out something quick versus taking all the time to design this to be able to put the book number up here maybe the title over here and if that works for you go ahead and do that but if it needs to be something as simple as stacked then why not go for it on the range tab here in addition to that if they're too tight or too close 
you can come here and use a little control padding. By clicking on the drop down arrow, you can see it's already set to medium. What if I do wide? Gives me a lot of spacing in between my labels, my text boxes, and the spacing between the stacked fields, book number to title. Maybe something a little bit less medium here. That's good. Then up here in the position group, they have what's called the size to fit. It'll actually fit it to the largest text within the labels box here, or it should. But because I messed around with it so much, it probably won't work when I click on it. See, it collapsed it just to quantity, and that doesn't work for me. So I'll hit undo, and instead, I'll just hover over the right-hand side of one of these labels and double-click really fast, and it does a best fit or a size to fit. The longest label I have here is the book number, and so it pretty much fits it closely to the book number label. Again, you can move your, your controlled layout here by clicking on the crosshairs. As long as you have it selected, you can use your arrow keys on the keyboard as well. They have the control alignment, which only works when it comes to when you align it right, it nudges it over to the right, but it doesn't work when you want to try to go to the left or to the top here, just right or the bottom. It tries to center it more towards the middle here of your form, which I'm fine. I just assume click and drag it, move it around. One final thing is if I want to be able to add a grid to my controlled layout here, then I can come up here, click on the Format tab, come to the Grid Lines group, and then there it is, Grid Lines. Click on the drop-down arrow. Right now it has none, but I could say have all horizontal and vertical. When I click on it, you can see the little black line that goes around it. So when I right click and go back to the form view, it gives me little cell boxes here. I don't have to use the full grid here. I can just use horizontal. Again, right click back to layout view, grid lines, something horizontal. And in addition to that, let me click on the crosshair so I can select the hold controlled layout. I can also choose the color of my grid lines, including the width of it. If I want to make it a little bit skinnier, also if I want lines or bunch of dashes and also the color of the dashes or the lines make it red. Click off in a blank area. Bring out the inner designer in you. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.